Hey guys, thought I'd do a short video of my Sunseeker recumbent trike that I have here. Now, actually, I had to put this thing up for sale uh, while I'm waiting for my electric 2.0 to arrive. I originally bought this a few years ago, actually, for it to be a assist powered bike. But this is one hell of a sturdy bike. Okay, let me tell you what: 21 speed drivetrain. High quality built, up to a 400 pound capacity. Very comfortable seat. Everything is fully adjustable. You've got disc brakes on both back wheels. You've got the standard cantilever brakes up here on the front. 20 inch rims, 48 spoke, Maxxis hook worm tires. I had these kind of customized too and I had the shop put it together. Had uh, inserts put in bunch of resistant tubes. These are like high PSI tires, like up to 110 PSI. Pretty kick-ass. Very high quality bike. Manufacturer suggested retail on this bike is just over $2,000. Yeah. But you can see this right here. Yeah, this thing is very high quality. Always been garaged. No rust. No nothing on the bike. You do have a center shock absorber, adjustable. And of course, your seat is totally adjustable. Handlebars right down here. Yeah, it's quite the bike. And you can add accessories to it. it has water bottle uh, holder capacity. Down here on the back of your seat, which you can see. You know, but when I originally bought the bike, I actually got a uh, customized four-stroke 33cc Subaru engine with a mount to go on here. The mount would go over here. The motor would sit on the side right back here. You have your controls right up in the front above your uh, front crankshaft there, crank set. But, yeah, guess what? <laughs> Even though you could always pedal with no motor assist separate from the motor, well, the law blew it down because combustion motor... You have to go through a bunch of permit bullshit. So it kind of zeroed out the concept of the bike for me. But the bike is fun, but I need to have something motorized with power assist. It's just, you know, I have some mobility issues and I, I have to have that. This thing does have one hell of a hill climbing gear in it, though. I will attest to that right there. That thing is big. Oh, yeah. Very high quality bike, very well taken care of. Yeah, I need to wipe it down a little bit, but besides that, yeah, I do have it listed on some different uh, areas. You know, free areas, try to sell it, but I don't know. We'll kind of wait and see what happens. I also have the complete motor in the kit. I mean, I can honestly tell you the bike has less than 50 road miles on it. You can tell by the, the tire and tread wear alone. I mean, yeah. I'm only asking a thousand bucks for the bike. Willing to make an offer, accept an offer, but yeah, this is going to help me uh, kind of fund the other accessories I want for my electric 2.0 when it comes. So once again, kind of goes hand in hand with the previous video I did of things I'm doing prior to my bike coming. Cause I know shipment could take a little while. So, Hey, I'm just covering all my bases before guys. Some of the things I want to do with the bike are going to be kind of expensive. Anyways, hope you guys are all keeping safe out there. Peace out.